Mm, good morning. Welcome to another episode of Coffee with Tease. I'm T. And I'm Twizzle. I'm going to get that right one day. Good morning, Twizzle. What's up, bro? Not much. What's up with you? Nothing much. Um, It's good to see you. I, I woke up kind of late this morning. How about you? I slept past my alarm and it's been a struggle to get here in time, but good we're here. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all that matters. That is all that matters. Gosh, we made it. We made it. We made it. It's a new. It's a new day. It's a um, new week. My puppy is sleeping, and he has been very tired all day. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So I maybe we'll be one to be asleep, and the other one sitting on my lap demanding scratches. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ever gonna get a ferret? Like, would you ever get a ferret, or like two ferrets? You know, my aunt had a ferret growing up. And I love the thing, but they smelled. They do smell pretty darn bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, my dogs are close to ferret size, so I think that that's as close as I'm going to get. Close enough. But, I mean, like, who knows? If I own a house one day and I have all these different rescue animals, a ferret could fall into the mix. <laughs> it makes sense. Yeah. And a chinchilla, because they're just so <laughs> on the floor. Right? <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> They're so cute and so fluffy. It's so fluffy. Yeah. 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 Um, so we have a jam packed show this week. Very exciting. Um, so before we start though, yeah. We have to tell them our big news. We have big news. We have big, exciting, broad, amazing news. We do. Yes. Are you going to say it or am I going to say it? Uh, you say it. You say it. Yeah. I know we both wrote down stuff, but we have a new member on our production team. I know. We want to give a big shout out for joining our team, Mr. Jamie Horton. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Jamie, to the team. We're so happy to have him. He is a phenomenal person, and he knows so much about technology. We don't. Yeah, he introduced these lovely new speakers, which you cannot see, but I can slowly lift mine. It's called a... <laughs> Shit was bad. Oh, I'm not <laughs> Darn it. It's called a snowball. And they can hear us. Well, you guys can hear us better now. <laughs> but amongst other things, Jamie's great. He he helps us. He helps us in more ways than one. Yeah, he does. And he has great ideas. He's got great ideas. He's a cat person. Important. His favorite show of all time is Star Trek Next Generation, which is that a makes good total mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. Uh Oh, he takes his coffee regular with a dash of cinnamon. He's fancy. Fancy, which mm -hmm. is really good. I love the combination of cinnamon and coffee. So good. Yeah. He dabbles in theater. He's a thespian, and he's very good at Shakespeare. Shakespeare makes me quite angry. And improv. You know, oh, Shakespeare is my husband, and I always get offended when you say this. I know, I know. It's just <laughs> he's just so Shakespearean. I it's, just, it's too much. You don't say. <laughs> you can also find Jamie at the Media Center. He teaches uh, video tutorials at the Kate Media Center. On um, he shows you how to edit videos, which is really awesome. It really is. And if you're looking for a membership, they're quite um, affordable. So go check that out. Very affordable. Awesome mm -hmm. crew there. So, yeah. yeah. St. Dennis off of Shad Hole. Yeah, you're right. Off of Shad Hole. <laughs> like it's been a while. <laughs> yeah. So go check them out at the Media Center. Go check Jamie out. Give him a big applause if you see him. And thank him for joining our Coffee with Tease team. Word. Uh, Kate said, oh my god, oh my god, it's Jamie! And Maxie said, fancy boy in tea language. I know, Maxie, I'm trying, I'm trying. Right. Like, the first couple minutes. I got it, Maxie, I got it. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so welcome Jamie to the team. We're very excited to have him. He has wonderful ideas, and uh, we look forward to uh, his amazing help 
with technology and um, the overall um, like team. So we're happy to have them. Yeah. And when you work with us, it's definitely a team. Uh, <laughs> Jamie right. helped us decide so much for this <laughs> this week's episode. So what did you think? Uh, Maxie said, I mean about Shakespeare lady. Oh, Maxie, listen. No. Nope. It's too much. We've made about like, this a lot, Maxie, in case you can't tell. He's so Shakespearean. It's it's too much. So we're gonna do a little quick shout out to Miss Kate Martin because Instead of doing the holidays of the day, which there were a lot, we chose a holiday from, well, holidays from different days of the week. Um, eh? Yeah. Eh? Hold on. I got to pull mine up. So okay. if you, you want to start with yours, go for it. Okay. So um, if we're starting uh, with two, are we going in order of the week or does it matter? It doesn't matter. Okay, so I saw one that I feel like everyone knows is right up my alley, which is which is National Hamburger Day. Um, that makes me happy on every kind of level. Excuse me, I love burgers. Yeah, I love burgers so much that I've gone to like a sushi restaurant and ordered a burger. Oh, First God. of all, didn't know they had burgers at sushi restaurants. Um, for people like me, I love burgers. I love burgers. So every uh, May 28th, National Hamburger Day celebrates America's most iconic food. You heard. Uh, Americans eat over 50 billion burgers a year. Um, so it's only fitting that uh, the whole day for those special sandwiches. So we set aside a day for those special sandwiches. So go eat a burger today. Maybe put some cheese on it. Oh, cheese right there. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, I got pop-ups. Okay, sorry. Pop up the volume. Oh, sorry. Today, yeah, yeah. Today's the twenty fifth. <laughs> I'm like, is it today? <laughs> is May Revolution Day, which, mm. um, at National Today, we are huge supporters of independence. Yeah, and fighting for it, <laughs> which is why we're excited to celebrate Argentina's May Revolution Day on May twenty fifth. Having been colonized by the Spanish. Vice royalty, Argentina saw many attempts at being conquered by military campaigns in other nations, including French military campaign leader Napoleon Bonaparte. Bonaparte was successful in overthrowing King Ferdinand the Seventh government, and in place of the Spanish king, he placed his own brother Joseph Bonaparte on the throne. This led to a week long series of revolutions, sometimes referred to as evolutions by the locals who craved independence from invaders and colonist rulers. So I think that that is really amazing. Um, I hope I nailed that language, Kate. <laughs> but I have a, I love, well, I'm all for independence and <laughs> that. So that is one of the reasons why I chose it. But I also really like to celebrate the Argentinian culture. Um, yeah, I don't know. On Thursdays, our Argentinian tango. <laughs> it's really neat. Highly recommend for everyone. It's a really fun dance to do. Um, there is a Cape Cod tango group here in the Cape. So if you're ever interested, let me know. Word. I didn't know that there was a tango group on the Cape. That's really interesting. Yeah, there used to be a while ago and then it kind of fizzled out. And then now it's coming back, which is really awesome because that's how I first learned. It was like a beginner's course, I think, in like I don't know, 2014, 2015. Wow. Um, and I loved it. I fell in love with it. It's a dance on like, I mean, I, I love ballroom dance. I've taken different dances. Um, I did a program called Broadway Theater Project um, where you learned a heck of a lot of different dances. But Argentinian tango is, it's more of a conversation. Um, mm -hmm. it, it's really neat. You have a different partner every time. Um, females naturally are the followers, but it's 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 really neat because the females have the say in the whole dance, and but you have to trust your partner to be successfully, safely leading you around the dance floor. It, mm. It's really neat. Check it out on YouTube. If you're interested on the Cape, let me know. I can add you to the group. Um, but let's celebrate their Revolution Day. Congratulations, nice. Argentina. <laughs> My dog just like hopped off the bed and went to the window. I was like, I know where this is leading. Oh, God. Go. go lay down, Bubba. <laughs> okay, we'll see how this goes. Jazz hands and tango, Wait. Kate. <laughs> um, so this is one of my favorite holidays, and I think we can tell why. So put a pillow on your fridge day. 
<laughs> it's celebrated on May 29th. It's meant to bring prosperity and good fortune. So that's important. Um, the name of this day is quite literal. For on this day, people are to put pillows in their fridge, well, on top of their fridge um, for the magic to work. Now, in the old tradi tradition, people would put pillows in their fridge for this ritual to work, but not everyone's, you know, wants to put a chili, put a pillow in the fridge, or like has a room to put a pillow in the fridge. So put a pillow on top of your fridge, and hopefully um, prosperity and good fortune will find you. And that is on May 29th. So I'm definitely going to do it because why not? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I'll do it. I would <laughs> Yeah. Put some of that magics. Yeah, um, Saturday, put a pillow on your fridge. Yeah. Tomorrow is National Senior Health and Fitness Day. Um, it's kind of important. Um, a lot of our, a good amount of our population on the Cape is seniors. Um, at least I know it is for Dennis. <laughs> but we should take care of our seniors, especially with COVID. Um, not everyone has their vaccine. So we'll talk about that a little later. But let's take care of our seniors. Um, let's let's help them be healthy and fit. Super important. Super important. Um, so this day, I think, speaks to both of us. Um, it's National Creativity Day. <gasps> so on this day, you unleash your imagination for nationwide creativity day on may 30th um many things mm -hmm. in our lives except nature of course was spanned out of someone's imagination uh writers artists sculptors filmmakers chefs landscapers architects and many many more this special day was founded to honor and celebrate everyone who creates new things each day someone just like you like us like everyone so happy national creativity day which is may 30th I hope everyone enjoys. And last but not least, um, it's not tomorrow, but maybe it's Thursday, uh, Thursday. Is National Hairstylist Mental Health Awareness Day. Yes, on the 27th. Um, hairstylists off offer more than a cut or color. They offer a sympathetic ear as their customer opens up about their problems. We've all been there. <laughs> National yeah. Hairstylist Mental Health Awareness Day on May 27th ensures that hairstylists are also being heard and that they have a safe space to talk about their problems, a safe space similar to the ones that they so often provide to others. This holiday was created by Booksy, the app that helps thousands of beauty and health service providers grow their business as a way of raising awareness for just how much hairstylists take on during their working day and the importance that they are to given the opportunity to talk about their problems. Super important. Super important. Mental health is super duper important. And I can't say until we, we saw this that I, I've ever really thought about that. Right. Like everyone does open up to the hairstylist. I mean, they're they're close to your head and they're gonna ask you questions and yeah. Let's let's give them some love. They yeah. deserve it. Let them know that it's okay that they can vent to us sometimes too. Right? That's super important. Yay! So that is um all the holidays of the week. Thank you, Kate, for that suggestion. Uh we're gonna keep it up and uh we like it. Thanks. Mm -hmm. And before we move on to the next segment, we're gonna start giving you your song clues. <gasps> It's a fun one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you want to say clue? Or do you want me to say the clue first? Oh, I thought you said before. I thought, nope, I will say the first clue. No. <laughs> before we move on. Before we move on, we're I'm very tired. Them, That's okay. Give right. them the clue. So the clue to the artist is, uh, it's a band from Boston. <laughs> it's a band. <laughs> Yeah. And the clue for the song is that it was featured in a movie with Ben Affleck and directed by Michael Bay. What? <gasps> All right. So you guys think about that when I ask you what the answer is uh, closer to the end of the show. If you know what it is, hold on to it. And uh, we'll see if you uh, actually know what it is closer to the end of the show. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and Kate Martin, you are right. Stable people with scissors and hands are wicked important. That is so important. Yeah. 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 Jamie said, I know this one. Yes. <laughs> no way. <laughs> For those of you who missed it, uh, we were very happy to have Jamie on our team. Um, he's helping us with absolutely everything. So he knows this one because he was at the meeting last night. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, tea time. Yeah. So it is tea time. So today um, I had a whole thing planned out for tea time today uh, with Little Nas X and um, on SNL, which was fabulous. Please go check it out. He did have a. I can't say that because we're family friendly now. Uh, there was a, a slip of some sort. Go check it out yourself. But um, <laughs> instead, I want to talk about uh, Sasha Johnson. She is the BLM um, leader in London who was shot in the head and is in critical condition in a hospital in London. Um, from the from the reports that we read, um, she was shot in the head at a party. It looks like there was a house party somewhere in London. Um, and the police are saying that there is no physical connection to her being shot in the head and her activism. She did say several times that she is um, being harassed and threatened. Um, when she did this interview with CNN, I will put this in the chat actually. When she did this interview with CNN, she mentioned that she was uh, paranoid that there she has constant people threatening to kill her, threatening to hurt her. She has three children and the police still don't think that this act um, was connected to her activism. It could not be, like we weren't there, we don't know. Um, but you know, if if you hear hooves, you know, you think like horses, not zebras. So um, we wish her like all the best. I hope that she is okay, but not but, I hope she's okay, period. Being an activist shouldn't cost you your life. It shouldn't cost you uh, the ability to walk. It shouldn't cost you uh, the use of your hands or feet or arms. Being an activist shouldn't cost you any bodily harm. All of us, most of us on this call have in the past year been in the streets protesting for um, change, protesting against um, racial divide, protesting against racism. And this kind of, not that it brings it home, but it makes it scary. It makes it scary. She was just at a party, just like minding all her business. And now she's in criti critical condition fighting for her life. Um, her activism shouldn't cost her her life. So one of her friends had a, a quote that they shared with CNN, which I thought was really important, not only to this story, but to the cause. Mohammed, a friend of Johnson said that, although the fact of the shooting, although the facts of the shooting were still, are still being established, whether it was targeted or whether she was in the wrong place, wrong time, the fact is nobody is spraying bullets in white communities, but it's a regular occurrence within a black community. We should be very concerned about that kind of activity, end quote. He's right. A lot of people who are on the stream are um, on the Cape. So imagine if there was a shooting and sandwich, all of Cape Cod would shut the F down, right? But if there's shared a shooting in, I don't know, uh, Plymouth or Boston, we don't really hear about it, right? Because it's almost close to expected to happen in the city. But it can happen anywhere. And the response should be the same regardless of who lives in those communities. And the response should be, go find that person and put them behind bars. They still haven't found the person who attacked her from the stories that I've read. I hope they find that person soon. And uh, I hope they're taken off the streets. I wish her family and her a speedy recovery. Um, she has three kids. She's so young, she's 27. Um, I just, I hope she's okay and spreading love and good healing her way. Um, everyone be safe out there. Word. Good words to you. All right. Um, so now it, let's go into some good news because that was, <laughs> that was a lot. Let's talk about some good news. Okay. Okay. Can I'll I see you. <laughs> okay. I think this one's really cute. Mm -hmm. Um. So, for World Bee Day, followers can hear buzzing bees, and it makes their nectar not flowers, not followers. <laughs> it makes their nectar sweet. What? Crazy! That's so cool, isn't it? It's yeah. So, 
It's a, an ev an evolutionary theorist has set out to prove that plants can hear their surroundings, and she was right. They can. You can read that. That's a long article. You can read it. I'll post it in the comments. But I think that that is, it's just really cool. Sometimes you take how the universe works for granted. You know, you think, oh, a flower's a flower, a bug's a bug. But really, everything, everything's connected. And I think that that is really sweet. <laughs> flowers <laughs> make their nectar sweeter for the bees to help them pollinate. Like, that's so, it's so precious. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta go outside and gotta smell the flowers. Smell the flowers. Be at peace with the universe. Word. Uh, Maxie said Angelina Jolie recently did a photo shoot where she was covered in bees. I saw that. It's terrifying. Mm. Would you do that, Twiz? Um, would you, like for a photo shoot, would you be covered in bees? So no. Uh, but... <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> but my uncle is a beekeeper in Montana. And oh. um I have gone in in the bee suit and helped them. And it's just it's I can't I I don't like things buzzing by my head. That's my biggest thing. I don't like things buzzing by my head. I wouldn't care from here down, but from here up it's like mm -hmm. no. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. Uh, so Ron maybe said, in full B suit. <laughs> with a B suit? You would yeah, do it? maybe. <laughs> uh, um, hard no for me. You can you can knock that right off the list. No thanks. Um, good morning, Ron. He said, I don't want one B on me, let alone covered. Yes. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh my good news was uh not was is adorable. So unfortunately there was a apartment fire in Chicago and the I didn't know that firefighters do this but sometimes they record the fires so like for learning purposes I'm guessing as they're recording this fire of them you know putting the fire out and stuff like that they see this cat who's like testing like the outside of the window and then this cat just jumps out the window fifth floor fifth, fifth floor window and then bounces and walks away like a boss yo the cat jumped out of a five-story window and then just walked away cool as hell on four legs. Like, <laughs> that's insane. They have nine um, lives. Have you heard of that? That cats can live from jumping off of higher, higher, jumping off of higher heights or whatever? Instead of like, if the cat jumped out of like three stories, it might be hurt, but five stories, seven stories, 10 stories, because it has more time to do like the rotation and like find the ground and like land. I don't know. I'm not a animal doctor, veterinarian, or like a science person, physics guy, girl. All of the above. Yeah. What do you call that? Like a physics? A physicist? That's the one. I'm <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd get there, but it's all right. <laughs> oh, shouldn't, shouldn't. Physicist. That's what they call. It. <laughs> yeah. So those are good news. It's about yeah. all of the creatures, big and small. Word. So cute. Yeah. Uh, so now it's time to jump into Truthful Tuesdays. Yeah. Let's talk about it. How you feeling today? How's your mental health? Are you taking care of yourself? What have you done today to take care of, well, it's 7.30 in the morning. So what do you plan on doing today to take care of yourself? How's your week planning on going? Are you overstressed? Are you putting too much in your week? Are you also adding fun, important things to like balance out the madness? Um, are you talking to someone? Do you need someone to talk to? Are you um, drinking a little bit too much wine? Not judging, okay? I had a lot, man, listen, I had like, you know what? The number doesn't matter. I had a lot of rum and cokes. They were delicious. It's my thing. Um, so how how are you feeling? Oh, Maxie's walking outside right now. Nice. Yes, go for a walk. Go feel the nature without the bees. Be at one with nature. <laughs> yeah. Have you done that before, Twiz? Like just gone for a walk and just like sat in nature? Yeah. It's nice. It is. And we get we have some amazing trails on the Cape where you can do that too. Mm -hmm. 
you know, either be in the middle by the ocean and you have the sound of the waves or you can, there's some really amazing trails in the middle of the woods, which you would never know, but they, they're there. Um, yeah. They're definitely there. If you ever uh, know some good trails, let me know. <laughs> I don't know what anything is. It's so bad. Oh, Maxie said Scort Scorton Creek Trails, FTW. For the win. Thank you. <laughs> so old. Oh, Ron went yesterday. Where'd you go, Ron? I want... There is a place on Cape... Nope, don't know where it is. I went there, but I don't know how I got there. So I can't tell you where it is. But it's very pretty. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's in Yarmouth. No, it's in Dennis. The <laughs> dog park. Like, There's like a tiny dog park on um, 134. Or 134. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's like a tiny dog park there. And then, pond. yeah, there, there's a pond and there's like a walkway. Um, that place is beautiful. Yeah, there's um, an area called the Indian Lands in South Carolina, which we should change the name. Um, yeah. <laughs> I that feels wrong saying it, but um, it's really beautiful. The trail access, you either can go in through the, the bike path. Mm -hmm. um, there's a, like a trail that skirts off of the bike path. Um, or like there's a little neighborhood that you go through and then there's a trail at the end of it, which my dad and I do, but, um, it, it's one, it's my favorite, it's my favorite, Ooh, <laughs> it's one of my yeah. favorite places, um, to walk around in Dennis. And then on the Dennis Harwich line, there's, I know it sounds creepy, but there's a really, really old cemetery and it, and there's a herring run on your way to the cemetery and the cemetery is on top of a hill and it overlooks a pond and there's always no swans nesting. And it's the old, it's either the Sears or the house, but if you know, and if you know the old Cape, there is like two main families from forever ago and the Sears in the house are two of the biggest families on the Cape. So it's their family graveyard. And the graves go back to like forever. <laughs> and it's just, it's just really peaceful. It's, it's tucked in the back. So you don't really hear traffic. You know, there's the swans. It's just the lake's always calm. Sometimes the heron are running, but there's not a million people there to look at it. So like you can watch the little fish go up the stream and it's, it's really, it's a really cool place. I want to go there. Um, okay. Can you take me there next time? Yes. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, Ron said that he went to Slater Park. I'm not sure where that is, but it sounds really part. It sounds really cool. Like Slater <laughs> reminds me of like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So I bet it's badass. Yeah, I'm like visualizing like a skate park. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Um, Kate said took the pops pops pups to <laughs> Thompson's yesterday. Where's Thompson's? It's in Harwich, I believe. I think it's technically Harwich. It's a it's a big field that has trails intertwined behind it. Dogs are allowed to to run off leash there. It's um super pretty. Definitely recommend yeah, it. Yeah, we were talking about this place a while ago, right? Probably. I want to go. Friendly yeah. reminder, though, in the town of Dennis, as of Friday, you cannot have your dogs on the beach. So get them in now. You got like a few days left <laughs> until Friday. No. Mm. Uh, Ron said there's so many places in New England true New England is filled with beautiful places yeah um, Maxie said a friend of mine was named after Slater Park that is so interesting that's really cool that is really cool and Kate said that Thompson's Field is in fact in Harwich and it's 68 acres that is a lot of darn acres yeah it's beautiful definitely recommend there's a joke there. Nope, gonna leave it right there. All right, so um, make sure you check in on yourselves and um, check in on your mental health. It is super, super important to um, ask yourself if you're okay today. And if you're not, that's okay, but at least you know where you're standing within yourself. You can explain your feelings and how you react to people around you. Yeah. 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 And last but, not, la, 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 la. <laughs> last but not least, <laughs> before we ask for the song answers, I want to talk a little bit about COVID safety. Um, mm -hmm. The pandemic is still happening, whether or not you believe it or not. Um, we're going to not touch that. Um, as you know, from Massachusetts, the masks are lifted this weekend. Um, I think until, please know, until then, they are still required to be on your face and covering your nose, your 
nose is right here, so it should be like there. Uh, <laughs> and when the mask protocol is lifted this weekend, which is one of our busiest weekends on Cape, yay! <laughs> Happy mm -hmm. Memorial Day. Um, be sure that if you're not feeling well to stay home especially if you're not vaccinated. Um, we don't want to still be spreading COVID and we're so close to, I guess, herd immunity. Um, I'm not going to preach at you to get vaccinated. I'm just trying to preach at you to be safe about it. Just be safe. Um, think about other people and not so much yourself. Although it's important to think of yourself. Um, but, but think about our elders. Think about our kids. Think about the people around you who are at risk and could potentially die from this plague that is still going around. Mm -hmm. It's still around. So, so yeah. Yeah. And, um, Jamie said no chin diapers, please. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And even if you don't think you have COVID, if you think it's just a, a cold, it's right. like, please stay home. Okay. Um, uh, Jamie said it so well yesterday in the meeting, you're not a warrior. Okay. We, we don't think more of you because you're here. You're getting us all sick. So stay the F home. But Twiz, you also had like another, um, I guess, way to look at it. Yeah, it's hard, especially if you're working in retail or in a customer service job where your obligation is to show up for work. And if you can't, you find someone to cover you, right? Mm -hmm. um, because we're a very capitalistic country and I could go on about that for forever, but now it's not the time. Um, a lot of places don't require you to have sick time. I'm I'm fortunate. There are a lot of fortunate jobs who give you sick time. Um, but if you don't um, and you're trying your hardest, but you have to go into work, you can still wear a mask. Um, Please. Yeah. They're, they're pretty normalized now. I don't think twice if someone's wearing a mask with or without vaccines, with or without the protocol, I would just be like, all right, they're just trying to stay healthy. Yeah. This is the first year I don't think I got nasty colds. <laughs> Everyone's wearing masks. Everyone's keeping their germs to themselves, which is awesome. So, yeah, take a moment to assess yourself, assess your mental health, assess your physical health, um, and go from there. Yeah. 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 All right. Um, are you ready? Are you guys ready for the song answers? And if you know it because you've heard us talking about it, don't put it in the comments. <laughs> okay. So, the uh, first clue is it's a band. And they're from Boston. The second clue is that it was featured in a film with Ben Affleck, directed by Michael Bay. Yeah. And it's not Gigli. <laughs> Do you remember that shit? Darn it. I'm cursed again. <laughs> Good job, Maxine. Yes. Yay, Maxine. That's it. Uh, Twiz and I were singing this song. Where were we? Dunkin' Donuts drive through. Yes. <laughs> And I don't want to I don't know the rest. We had it blasting while we were waiting. She yeah. wanted a snack before we went and rehearsed for her awesome poem. It was <laughs> good. It was okay. The event was really amazing. If you yes. missed it, um, hopefully, maybe um, the people who ran it yes. will put together a video of it soon because it was really good. Um, yep. We're working on it now. So hopefully that'll be up in uh, close to a month or so. There's a lot of editing. Yeah. Mm, a lot of editing. Yeah. Yeah. And we were singing it in Kate Martin's car on the way to P-Town. Yes. Oh, my <laughs> God. So, so can we talk about Kate's car for a second? Because sure. it's a great car. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous car. I didn't realize how much I liked a drop top until I sat in the passenger seat. It was cool AF, okay? Um, everyone should have a drop top. So... Yeah, 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 Kate. Michael Blayton said, "With masks, everyone can can be a superhero or a ninja." Yeah, which is awesome. Who doesn't love ninjas? Yeah, literally, literally. Everyone, everyone, everyone loves ninjas. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. um, before we go, in case you haven't noticed, I have a new backdrop, <laughs> uh, courtesy of. Um, Twiz's mom. This is a wonderful gift. So this will be here every week. Um, they're little coffee cups, which is adorable. So we're gonna do this every week. Yay! <laughs> She's gonna be so excited. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. 
Um, I think that's all we have for this week. It is. We went a little overboard this week, but that's okay because you guys are awesome. <laughs> I hope you like the, like the show. Hopefully. <laughs> and you'll come back. Yay, boys. Yeah. Please come back. All right. Uh, remember, hurt people hurt people, so keep an eye on your pain. Stay safe. Godspeed. And we'll see you next week. Deuces. As uh -huh. always, go Yankees. No. Yeah, yeah.